I want you to call the name, say their name, say, I forgive you for what you did to me. I forgive you for violating me. I forgive you for abandoning me. Whatever they did to you that you can't seem to let go. Come on. I give you a moment just to take it up to God because your prayers have been hindered. Give it up to God. Give it up. Give it up. Father, we give you the hurts we've been through. Father, we give you the pain that we've been through. Lord, we surrender to you today. We have been so hurt by people we trusted. We have been so hurt. And Father, we've been carrying this weight for so many years. But today, Father, we surrender this weight to you. I want you to make an intentional decision to forgive. Be intentional. Be intentional. Call the, the, their names out. That situation that happened, call it out to God and say, Lord, I can't forgive because this happened. Call it out. Call it out. Don't think it in your head. Don't think it in your mind. Call it out. Use your mouth and speak it out. Lord, I can't forgive this one. I can't forget. But God, I bring it up to you today. Father, I'm still hurting because this happened to me. So and so, Lord, I am still hurting. But today, God, I surrender it all to you. Oh, Lord Jesus, I wait. We give it to you, Lord. Oh, Father, your people are tired of carrying this weight. They're tired of carrying the weight, Lord. Oh, God, we're tired of carrying the weight. You're, you're getting your healing today. You are getting your healing today. Today is the day that once you release this, listen, release it. Don't hold it back. Do not hold back who's hurt you. I got to emphasize on this point because most of you, this is the reason why you're not making any progress. Most of you, you're stuck because of unforgiveness. You are stuck. The devil has nothing to do with this. Satan is saying, I, I don't know anything. So, Father, we come to you, Lord. We thank you, Father, because you're the God that can heal our broken hearts. You're the God. Maybe that relationship ended and you didn't think it was going to end. Maybe that job, they'll let you go from that job and you thought that you're going to be there for a while. Maybe I don't know what is holding you back to forgive. But whatever that thing is. Today, I refuse to give that control over my life. I refuse to give anybody power over me. I take back my power in the name of Jesus. Come on. When you forgive people, you take the power away from them. You snatch the keys from them. So I want you right now, begin to snatch the keys of your heart that you've given to everybody that's ever hurt you. I want you to snatch the keys of the power that you've given them from so many years. I know what it's like when somebody hurt you and they know they're hurting you and they keep doing it. I know what it's like to go through a season where you become so bitter because somebody did something to you i know what it's like to cry yourself to sleep because of bitterness because of pain because of hate there was a season in my life that i was filled with so much hate because of what i was going through and it just destroyed me but today we're breaking free we're breaking free father we break free from hate we break free from unforgiveness we break free from bitterness father we release all the people in our lives come on i want you to call them by name don't just I'm, I'm using a general term people but i want you to wherever you are call them by name you know their name you know the situation you know exactly what happened you can talk to god say lord god when this happened go with listen talk, tell god lord when this happened when they did this when they took me here and they call it out Lay it out before God. We're getting free today. You are getting free right now. No more bound. No longer bound. No longer bound in the name of Jesus. No longer bound. Oh, Father, we take back our, our power. We take it back. I know what it's like to be hurt by someone. 
to be hurt by people that you thought were always going to be there for you. And you grow, you, you have that resentment. You hate them. You despise them. But today, the Lord Jesus has just set you free. I'm not saying that it's not going to hurt. You may cry. You may cry. You probably cry your eyes out. You probably screaming. Why me? Why me? But after all the screaming, after all the why me's, after all the pain, release it. Release it. I want you to type in the chat. I'm free from unforgiveness. Come on. I'm free from unforgiveness. I'm free from unforgiveness. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. You're free. You're free. You are free. You are free. You're free. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we surrender to you. We surrender to you. Now, before I move on to the next points, I just felt that so strongly in my heart. Because I know that people are going through a lot in this season. I know that you are, you have so much weight on your shoulders. But God is setting us free. The word of God tells us that whom the sun set free is free indeed. Father, we thank you. God will always answer your prayers through other people or circumstances. God has a way of answering your prayers through people or through circumstances. And sometimes you don't know how things are going to pan out. I don't know how things are going to pan out, but I have to learn and trust that God knows exactly how he's going to do it, who he's going to use. I think sometimes we have this idea of how things need to go. I want to say this, that It's another key point. Sometimes while we're praying and saying, when will God answer my prayer? The answer to your prayer, listen to this. The answer to your prayer is the change of heart, not your situation. The answer to your prayers your situation may never change for the rest of your life. Whatever that thing is, I'm not saying it's not going to. But sometimes it is your change of heart that will change your circumstances. When we go through a lot of things, our hearts get harder. We no longer have a heart of flesh, but a heart of stone. What a heart of stone means that you reject anything and everything that God is telling you. And there are people that say things like, I will never do this. I will never, never, I will never be in a ministry. I will never serve God. I will never, never, because our hearts have become so hardened. They've become so hardened that we now miss God so in order for God to get things to us God just need to change our hearts 
when you have a heart that's hard before the Lord, man, you don't, you're not sensitive to anything or anybody. When your heart is hard before God, you are insensitive. You're cold. You're cold towards the things of God. You're cold towards what can hurt other people. You are so cold when, when your heart is, is hard, you become insensitive to the things of God. You become insensitive to the people that your decisions could be hurting. Because you're in a place where you're like, I don't, I don't even care, man. I don't care. 